have another dose! But we're gonna get a 12, okay? Uh, Sky Mother Avian, a 12 wind druid. Um, alright, let's play some druid. Plus, it's uh, the, the Murloc guff. Exactly. Uh, drilly, Jimmy. Uh, Sky Mother Avian, let's do it. I made this in gold for a reason. Draw. Plot, pretty good. A uh, Night Elf? We could go Dragon. I think I prefer Night Elf anyway. I like Harbor. Interesting. Do you, do you go hold? I think it's early enough to risk hold. It makes the 7 drop a nice pickup, right? Let's go for it. Panda, I guess. These suck. Interesting. There's some new stuff for hold, yeah? Like what, Zinni? Usually I don't pick up Ancient of Growth anymore because I need hold. Easy spammy? Spammy is almost the least one I want here. Spammy helps me prolong games. Why would I want to do that as the worst class? No, Druid doesn't have a legendary excavate KFK. Oh, Drum Circle is in. Drum Circle would become an insta pick with Tenarian Hold for sure. I, I mean, it might be spammy anyway, just because I would want to extend into Aviana, but usually I hate spammy. Yeah, yeah that, that's, that's the thing, Lala. Are random legendaries good enough to beat most other decks, though? That's the question I'm asking myself right now. And it might just be no. The thing is, right now my early game sucks. Which makes spammy better? Basically, this is the question I'm asking myself. Will I slash can I pick up some early game, which I really, really, really want to, because I have Plot of Sin and Arbor up already? If so, then these are better. If I don't, then I need spammy, because my early game currently sucks. That's the thing, right? So, I, I, I just hate picking spammy in Druid, so I have a little thing against it. Yeah, but usually what spammy does is prolong one turn. And is that really winning? Yeah, yeah, but the, 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 you don't need... What you need is, a win, is to win a game, right? A lot of people have this idea that, oh, you need AoE. Druid sucks because it doesn't have AoE. You could give Druid 10 Earthquakes in their deck. It would still suck. Because you play Earthquake and then next turn your opponent develops 10 7 7s. And you Earthquake again, your opponent develops 10 7 7s. And then you don't draw your Earthquake because you've already played 3 and you die. It's not winning, it's prolonging, right? There's a difference. Yeah, Spammy does let you give you that tiny bit of an edge, but. I, I, I want to say that 90% of druids that I've had are always, you need board, wide boards, and then spammy just sucks. Just sucks. But right now, my deck is really looking like it can't use either of these. I don't know. I think I won none of them, oddly. I'm gonna take a risk. Let's pretend it's one of those 10%. Park Panther. Attorney? Just a little too heavy. I need the early game. Lingering? I don't know. It was just a random exaggeration of Vinovich, obviously, but... Just clearing? In a class like Druid is just not enough anymore, I feel. It just isn't. A druid needs to have early game swarm. If you clear your own board beyond that, it's so hard for a druid to come back, I feel. It's just so hard. So then spammy would only work in the situations where you're, you don't draw that or you don't have that and your opponent is out tempoing you early and then you can swing back. But that's not how most games go, right? You're either getting out tempoed and you lose because it doesn't matter if you clear their board, they just keep going. Or, you have to be ahead and then this becomes a dead card. I'll go Flower Child here.
Things still are, but I, I need early really bad though. Holy crap, this is so bad. I think I go spreading plague really. My lord. Emerald, I guess. Jeez Louise, this deck is uh <laughs> Reef Walker. Okay. I need to remember I have scenario and hold. I think we take nature studies actually. Try to find those drum circles and stuff. I need draw. But I also really need early game. Bad. I'm a little heavy on five. Stays ancient. These suck. Yes, but uh, if I play Sky Mother on five after playing nothing early, it doesn't matter whether I dr play draw on six and draw on seven because I'll be dead by five. Jesus, this is like the clunkiest deck in the world. Like, I like Breath of Dreams. Well, I have one dragon. It's not worth it, right? I have to go Buster again. I think I actually need Groovy over Night Elf to be quite honest with you. I hate making that pick, but... <sighs> Watch her. I always tell you this though, Ivanovich. I would rather have that deck. Always. Always. Doesn't matter if I play Ivor on 5 if I'm already dying. I know you tell me the other way around, like I reckon still be good and stuff, but I always prefer the other way around. Obviously, they both kinda suck, because you need oomph in your style of deck, and I need to not die. <laughs> I don't think Savage Roy can be a win con because our deck isn't really set for it, like you're saying. Might honestly just be a winged guardian. I don't know, man. Do I even have two choose ones? I don't know, man. This thing is weird because it has high quality cards, right? Double Park Panther, high quality school teacher, triple arbor. These are high quality cards. Um. Retire? No, I won't retire 12 when Druid. I also just don't retire. Can you get choose ones from Excavate? I'll keep a 4. As Druid feels a little rough. I will see how it goes. Okay. You typically don't want to coin 2s here. Oh, from those. But I can't get the 5. Keep a five because we don't have many. Smart. Okay, all I need to do, guys, is always draw a zombie into a two, into a three or coin fours, and then let the deck take care of itself, right? That's it. Kind of want a coin fives. Hey, Valangel. Hey Buster, I've got two of you. Well, oh Lord Almighty, I have to do this. <laughs> Yeah, right here. <laughs> Very Arbor, yeah. I'm more, I'm more like Arbor down though of Asia. Like I would have loved to go coin Arbor into Arbor, right? But if I do that, they're gonna have, they're gonna be ahead by a five, four, and three drop, and this does nothing. Okay. 
Okay, what if I make this immune and hero power? Or, or actually, nah, Gulling, make this immune trade. And then go Arbor Arbor. Ooh! Okay. I have a plan. I have a plan. I have a plan. Yeah, yeah. The, uh, my fives are extremely strong, right? That's why I said, like, when I'm looking at this deck, um, it has high quality cards. I'm just scared it just doesn't quite work together. So the idea here, good draw for them, is I go Arbor into Nagaling Arbor into Attorney Arbor. Like, now we're in a good spot. We're actually ahead, and they're struggling. Probably has to do with the fact they skipped turn two and played the wrench caliber on four. Really, David? Thank you. <laughs> I would like to change it one day, make it a little more chill, I guess I want to say. That would be a sad day. I want to try and shorten and make it a little shorter and sweeter, David. I made a little quieter though, so I am already all right with it, sort of. One, two, three. One, two, three. They can actually, yeah, they can close the air here. This is a little awkward, but I don't mind it. Because it should give me a better arbor. We can do attorney dragon arbor. I'm gonna get a save Viana. At least they made it seven, demon. Like, jeez. Uh, Khan, thank you for the follow, Khan. Welcome. Okay. This guy knows a guy. What's his name? Bop, Bopa. So I hear Warrior's pretty good. Warrior's still one of the worst classes, to be honest with you. But uh, all classes can do something. As they could do always, though. It's just that it takes an adjustment for people to even risk trying classes. And then when they do and realize that they can high roll them. No, it, it has already released, I thought, Little Wing. Um, but no, I, I won't be trying it, most likely. You can get testing dummy, can you? All alone there, thank you for the follow. Fill the skies with a cascade. That's true, that's true, that's true, David. Um Arbor Up was super good because the swinginess by design of Hearthstone was uh, way lower. Like, I think they did a good job with Twist personally, David, to, to your point, Little Wing's point. Um, they lowered the barrier for entry. Obviously, there's still huge complaints, but I think you can't avoid that. Uh, they lowered the barrier to, to entry instead of having to craft full wild decks after people fully disenchanted their wild or whatever, their wild collections. Um, uh, now you only need one legendary and four of them are in core. And they're pre-built decks. I worry a little bit for the staleness of the mode because as soon as people realize which one's better, they're just gonna keep that one deck and spam it. But we'll see. Hey-ish! 
I got offered package runner today ish. I didn't take it though, unfortunately, because I was in fatigue and didn't have eight cards. But I thought of you. Good to see you, man. Happy weekend ish. Uh, it's discoverable, it's not draftable, no. But all cards from Ashes of Outland onwards are discoverable. It was offered to me in a discover, but I didn't pick it because I, I was already in fatigue. I'll do some more drafts. I saw you were uh, jumping in a little bit more recently. I think Arena's in a pretty good spot. It might be a little overwhelming if you haven't played in a while. It's just a little stale for people that play a lot. Because it hasn't, uh, hasn't changed enough in a while. Uh, but I think the curated pool and the balance is all right. Arthas is tier S plus in Twist. They will need to fix it. I went up to Diamond and 90% of games were mirror. That was exactly my worry. To, to be quite honest with you, this was exactly my worry. Um, Tempo Panther. I think I actually killed it up. I could have just tempo this and taken this kill. But they're very likely to just kill either. Yeah, let's go for some draw before we hit our sevens. We all exist in harmony. No, Arfus in uh, Arfus in Twist. Twist, they're talking about Twist. Mixa, Elmo, shut it. <laughs> 72% win rate, damn. Yeah, we were legitimately given the ability to provide feedback. Or proposals this time and uh, seems it helped although they did a good job with their final decisions in the end feels like I lost wait Wait, 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 is Linger and Zombie Spammy a clear? It is, right, actually. Went 12, Lemon. Is that good enough, though? How do I then win? Just don't take 14. They skip. Hmm. Well, they have four mana, which honestly is about exactly what I have on board, right? But they also have uh, eight cards <laughs> and are a shaman. Oh, look, their two mana cards better than everything else I have. <laughs> what a surprise. <laughs> Uh, dude, I think I might take Chia. Seven mana fi, ain't it? We rise to the war, son. So need to draw them R. I can go Chia into Arbor, right? Next turn, say they can't get through, they don't have actually any good cards. Honestly, that's not too bad. No, no, mate. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> okay. What, do I have a spreading plague instead? Nah. Let's start with the drill. Demon Hunter Triple Biblio. They should be out of cards though, right? Let's get that Aviana going. Oh no, Hango. Oh, that's a pretty good shock up there. Oh, come the... Oh, you know what? Okay, okay, okay. These two are low rolls. These... This is a high roll, but these two are low rolls. Okay, okay. I, I should have looked. Looked around. Feels good, Hango. No, I need to kill the patron. No. 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 Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Even though they're all the way back to like full or something, we're all right. We're all right. We're all right. We're all right. Let's see what's in this. Oh, I could have guaranteed it actually. It's okay though. I should I should have guaranteed it there. I don't want these. I'm going with Invigorate. Uh, I should have killed the two two and killed it. I gave them five health essentially there. Um, you didn't type fast enough. I might have considered ignoring the two two was maybe part of it, but I think I think I should have got, taken the guarantee. This has enough minions in it, right? I thought I would get some death rally stuff. now this will just kill everything. I can still make a big chunky though. Does this work? So this has like, give your minions plus five plus five as a death threat in. Well, I could have sworn it went back together. Four plus four plus four. Okay, okay. Okay, <laughs> okay, 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 <laughs> okay, okay, <laughs> okay. Here comes Hex from a mech discover. Oh no. That is a rare interaction. I almost, I won this to die, right? I actually won this to die. So I might actually take this trade. So you go six, seven, five, five, hit. Even though I could push seven face. Oh, yo, that works that way. Okay. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Do I Caligos or do I just Spreading Plague? I want this trait to happen. What if I just Spreading Plague, though? 
No Caligos. Although I could get the armor after. If it's a witch, okay? You grab your words, okay, and stuff them where the sun don't shine, mate. Okay. I wanted to kill the flame tank, but I mean, that Rod Guild, though. The Rod Guild Devourer combo, I had never seen that one before. I had never seen that one before. Time. They're, they're trying so hard. More Quake. Mark isn't draftable. I also don't think it's is it enough? I still push eleven. That was a cool game. I made the the game the run worth it. Alright, um, let's go for it. If someone clips it, I'll add it, Trangs. I always take a look. If someone clips it, like either the Rodgill Devouring turn or the Rodgill Plague turn, I'll see it tomorrow and add it. Because I usually end up forgetting, unfortunately. I have a question, guys. Does anyone know who Yucky is? Is Yucky a streamer? No, I'm being serious, though, Seth. You have, basically, uh, you, we get this off as a streamer, you often get something like, Hey, we are company XYZ, I promise you we're good, you should implement this and you should do this, because streamer A is already doing amazing with us. 
And they usually mention a few streamers. And sometimes it's like, XQC or Miskiff. And I'm like, I bet you just pay them a bunch for them to be on board. And they don't even remember that the contract that they signed includes you mentioning them in all of their outgoing. Uh, <laughs> I don't know who Yaki is, so this is different. Muffs in Discord? Why do you call them muffs? Strike now! Let's take a look. Let's take a look at Kay's bacon though. Yeah, those look really good. White choco filling. Oh. Can you do one of those uh, cut open things? Oh, you like the four face? So my reasoning, Ivanovich, is that I, I expect them to very likely have a rush with Illidari and to the one tune that one one kills. I guess it doesn't anymore. You know what? I have no answer. <laughs> I, have, I have no answer, Ivanovich. Um, because? <laughs> yeah, it was a mistake, I think, even of it. Looks really good. You even got the little paper things. I'd eat out of those. Would it have even actually helped me if it <laughs> I, I think I unfortunately can't pretend. I, I have to just be honest. I, I don't think I can even get, get out of this. Okay. So now they could have wolves. How do I best play around wolves? What if they don't have wolves? Mm -hmm. I think you still have to play Emerald Explorer and pray. We must stop this corruption. I think I do this and keep the one one around. Just makes it so that they play wolves and don't hear a power of this for some reason. Oh, it's Skull? Okay. Actually better than wolves here, because I don't really have a way of answering wolves right now. I need to draw. That, that's my next aim. Skull is still really good because they were out of cards, but uh, I think I prefer them having Skull than wolves. The worst is Skull into wolves. I swear, I think I might eat that whole batch in one go, okay? That's my problem. That's why I don't make them. Because I either have to hold myself back and since I live alone, they would go dry and stale. Or I just eat the whole thing and ruin, like, every single time I have exercised. I would go down, like, five minutes. <laughs> Yeah, and coffee goes so well with them. They have another coffee as well. I want this out. Uh, so let's try something like this one. Ooh. Do you Arbor or do you do the Amalgam Panner? I think I actually prefer this. Just makes it so much more likely if this survives into this. We did, I guess we did. In case I ever mess miss questions like that, we have an exclamation mark today command. I try to keep updated. Thank you, bed. Uh, right there. Wow, 
Wow. Two mana AoE summon a 5-5 five five into one mana deal 10 million. Very nice. But you know what? Two can play the draw game, mate. Thing is, their board actually clears mine, right? Practically. They're actually nine mana ahead, as is. But yeah, they can uh, trade, it kills it, trade, trade, it kills it. Even the 5-5 five five is a high roll, right? The 5-5 five five is a high roll as well. Or would double three have been better? Would draw have been better? I guess it's just the attack would have been the best for me. Everything else, I guess, sucks in a way for me. Although the Bullhogs would have gone face. So maybe, maybe just they all sucked for me. Alright. Immolation or uh, multi strike? Multi strike is great actually because they can save one of their minions. Oh. Oh. Okay. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's, it's so disgusting, right? I, I agree. It's disgusting, bed. Miscounted. There, should have started with this. <sighs> should have started with this. I thought I had ten mana there. It's okay. We can go Woodland Arbor next turn. Yeah, ball hug. use this next turn for a board space. I need the snuggle teddy. I should be able to survive here unless they have another inquisitor. Um well now they can kill me out of nowhere. You know what's weird? I don't even know whether Snuggle Teddy is actually the best play here. I think it, it is though. How badly do I want to hero power one of these? Versus play this. What can kill me? I always, even if I play this, I die to find the hammer. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm thinking about, Trangs. Yeah, they, 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 there are ways. I want to force them to hero power this or have another way of dealing. Yeah, fan the hammer, but I die irrespective of whether I play zombie or not, because zombie, it's one and then five face, right? 
killing the one make it so that Inquisitor can't go face? They could go 6-1-1, Inquisitor my face, which means I take 9, I wouldn't die, but then I have to figure out how I'm going to deal with the Inquisitor. And again, I could Woodland, but then the Inquisitor kills both of them, and now I'm struggling versus their next two draws. So the hero power is better for exactly only that scenario. Uh, how many this do I have? Nothing, so I just use it. One, two, three, four, five, six. I guess I don't need to use it. <sighs> now I feel safe. Nice, Hango. Let's freaking go. That stalker is a good one, huh? Or, or a fun one, I should say. I don't think it's it's OP in modern metas. Hango, and it's a nice value hero. Ah, uh, that's fun. And they have Kane. Does Kane kill me though? Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Right. Reality. They need Kane plus something. Yeah, they only had one card in hand though, so they, it has to be Kane, and it has to also be a charge or a weapon. Like the odds of that are so low, I'd rather present lethal for next turn rather than give them two turns to draw that, right? Or a spell like what though? A spell like what? Like, I, I want to make sure that I, I have lethal next turn, right? Because by playing around a legendary that sucks so much that most people don't draw it, in and specifically they have it in hand, into a top deck, something that deals four to my face, versus give them two turns, I'd rather not give them two turns, yeah? That's my thinking. There's all, there's a... There's always some niche punish. It's about the, the choices that you balance, right? Yeah, but I don't think a minion spell weapon gets them there. If the card in hand was Kane, they need something that goes four to my face, right? I think in this deck you want to ensure you have the early that isn't these. Right? Like, I think I was at 4 health. After Kane and everything goes face. Um, so like, Felbrage doesn't do it. Uh, Fan the Hammer doesn't do it. Honestly! I normally say this this is too slow, but okay, okay, okay. I was gonna say, but I have nothing to play. Yeah, so they could have extended right tranks, but then I have Aviana maybe. Yeah, seems it was additive enough of it from what I can tell. Wow. They're playing slow and I unfortunately can't punish them. Although I am drawing in a way that might punish them. They're playing so slow. Do they have like Starfire? Star power? I mean... Oh, that's a tough one. You probably go Mind Eater. You just want that board presence, you know? You ever coin Flower Child here?
are priceless. Um, you know what, Ivanovich? It's surprisingly working all right, but I have to admit, I was actually gonna, I was thinking about this when I went to the bathroom earlier, Ivanovich. Yours would suck versus um, removal and comeback mechanism. Mine would suck versus tempo and or missing early. What was my opponent doing? Infinite Eyes on 2 into Arcane Intellect on 3. It's it's kind of what I'm able to punish, right? Together now. Those were quite together now. Uh, so I'm kind of being lucky in that sense. I also perfectly top decked a two into a three, which is also super lucky. Should have played around that. I, I should have played around that actually. Actually. We must stop this corruption. Yeah, unfortunately, reality, my top end isn't super strong, but. I mean, I, I want a well-rounded deck usually, even of it. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not trying to say like, mine sucks, yours is OP or anything like that. You typically just want a well-rounded deck. like a little bit of both like i typically prefer trying to swarm with druid because i feel like there's a lot of like scam stuff but maybe i'm still judging based on uh last meta when shamans and dks were just so strong at comeback potential and maybe now that they're weaker maybe this shines more Going for trade for two ancient be a bad play? So not really, but I feel like ancient isn't so good anymore, Quantum, and I have a scenario in hold which is specifically for ancient. Paradox? No. I mean, you could use like HS Replay to figure it out if you're really interested. I think, I think they have the intention to leave that sort of air of mystery. Uh, probably actually Crimson or Fire Left, right? Okay, I have to... I have to hold that back. Right, guys? back so my hand has to be Sonia and nine legendaries right and then we play them all what do you guys think <laughs> my opponent spend their turn to discovering yog in the box 
Are they gonna hire out it now or what? Because why not? Dude, wait, I need to cook, man. I I need to cook, dude. I know I could Sonya this, but Anonymous! Anonymous? I hope you're listening, whoever you are, you secret, awesome person, you. Thank you for the five gifted subs, Anonymous. Um, and a welcome to Roku, Grouchy, Frank, Frank's a legend, Loki, and get stash buff. Cheers, Anonymous. Thank you for the support. I have two other eyebrows, that's the idea. Yeah, me neither, reality. I mean, for winning, I don't like it, but for fun, I like it. Does that make sense? I have lethal. Can I see? Excuse me. Can you? Can I see? For a 12, 40, 15. Yes. one type make like fast food I think POSIC is tied to its own butts if that makes sense I think POSIC is tied to its own butts When you say this meta, do you mean post patch? Quantum. Though, because it's different now, right? Pre post combine. Uh, this. I, I, I will say this, this deck is very strong on turn 5, right? If you give this deck the ability to s swarm on turn 5, then it's great. Uh, and my first of all, I've been extremely, again, I, I've been extremely lucky at drawing my curve, which in this deck is actually really lucky, look how clunky it is. Heck, I've missed more early game turns in my Hunter, and my Hunter had like 10 2 drops. Um, so that's something. And my opponents are what? Infinitize into Arcane Intellect so far, you know, like... Again. Curve. I'm gonna draw here. Yeah. That looks pretty sweet though, Quantum. Triple Mind Eater, Double Falls, love it. Triple Draconic with Zeremi. Cathedral, super important. Fly of the Shelves, a little AoE. I hate that you picked Chalk Artist, I'll be honest with you. Spirit Guide's fine, Sunspot's fine, Skeletal's fine, Light Spawn's mid, Stonehill's mid. Yeah, it looks looks pretty alright. You need, you need to not be able you need to not be scared to uh really get ahead. You need to really not be scared to get ahead. No 
you gotta play the chair card piss. I disagree. I don't think I think it's it's not only is it not fun, I think it also makes the deck unfun because you will lose in the games you play it, unless you are winning anyway, in which case the chair card is useless. Drawing a card that actually lets you compete and have fun with your Zarimi and your stuff. And making it into a legend is unplayable and... Ech. I don't think quite cut to anymore. If you enjoy it, that's fine. But... You gonna get Estelar from it? Maybe. In which case, I'd call you insanely lucky. <laughs> Fair. So then, um, the reason you like it is because you're super lucky. <laughs> I tried it. It sucked. I've seen my opponents played it. It sucked. Okay, this is pretty good. As you can see, my client is. It's my turn. Just like yeah, that, that's that's the thing, right? If you enjoy that happening anyway, irrespective of whether it costs you the game because the card could have made you have fun in the game otherwise, go for it, man. I have nothing against that at all. No, I think it's a really bad card. A 4 mana 4 3 that transforms a card that you drafted, which in this meta is super important, into a random legendary from the past is just so. Ugh. Alright, sorry. 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 <laughs> Let them draw. This fine. I could have even gone all out a little more, but hello. It's just so much damage. Okay, I I I, I believe in this run now. Okay, I think the luck of the gods is with me. I mean, Zelda's here. Fireball man's here. The luck of the gods is with me. Equality and consecrate? There's no way. Those of blasphemy? Oh my god, really? Yo, double... Man, look at... Okay, okay, I see what you did. Okay, look at that, guys. <laughs> look at that. Yog is the only th true god. Such a good full clear, only to realize that they died because they gave me initiative again. I I told you I have a statue of Yog right here. I wouldn't say life size, but it's actually human size. Thank you for the follow, by the way, guys. M Golden and get on Twitch. Thank you. My wise uncle once said. My wise uncle once said. Blah, 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 blah. I just had to. <laughs> I'm winning too quickly now, I'm sorry. What do you think about this rogue list? Right, let's see. 
Hmm. This is interesting. I won my fives, but I won my early game more, right? I think I keep nature, even though I have the coin. You have five and oh? Man, lucky again with the curve. We'll take it. <gasps> it's a test deck. No, no. You have our coin twos. Man, I think I do. Wow, I think you even kennels. You go two kennels. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow, so lucky again. Black stab, braid, and swash. Tooth. Love the double wicked stab. Bargain. Double plagiarizer. Dubious. Little heavy on the fives and sixes. But could be a fun test pop off. I would say. Could be a fun test pop off. I don't get solid, Lala. Pure up stuff, but I think it's solid. The wicked stabs could really help you end games. Um, to where you won't even need your late game. What I'm scared of is you end up getting clunky with your late game and then the wicked stabs don't really matter because you fell behind but then Tess could pull you through, through. I'm actually not a hundred percent sure maybe if not bitch maybe Sorry, by the way, Yug. I thought it was. I thought you'd find it funny too. <laughs> oh, vagrant! Yeah, the vagrant stealth could be a little push for you as well. I care if they want to gain armor. I want to stop them value trading the 2 2. I want to go like 6 into these two. I'm looking for two things my legendaries or my scenario hold. A ruined orb into molten. They forge it anyway. I don't like the forge. I have, still, I have, I have a human sized statue of you right here, you yeah. Especially since their hand is random spell, random spell, random spell, random spell, random spell, random spell. Show statue? No, I can't. My cam is uh, bolted to the wall. Uh oh. <laughs> uh oh. I could clear, but... You still think spammy? Yeah, that's the other line I'm thinking, but this only summons three, unfortunately. But does then set up a better spammy. It does clear. Oh. 
My hand is too full. I know they can second flame this, guys. I just want to draw one or something. I agree, even if they at least play one of them or something. So like, now? One, two, three, and hopefully four in there and stuff. Okay, so should, everything should die. My ass one in the end, but... Yeah, but just in case I if it ruins the thing. You never know whether it's actually gonna clear the one, so I'd rather have that potential sort of Yeah yeah, the one drops, but Minus one was worth it for me because it's just one damage also, right? <laughs> and they're at 30. I know they can value trade like this. The idea is that I can do like a 6-1-1. I'm holding drum circle because I have scenario and hold. Missed value. Deep breath for 6 means they only have one minion in hand. That's a drafted. I could have done that for sure, for sure, for sure. Nice, nice one. Replay any spells you've cast on your minions this game. Driver's Eye, I cast nothing, right? Do you tempo this? Knowing that all their stuff is like they have they only have one minion, their top deck. It does give a meteor target, but it's random spell, random spell, random spell, and random warlock fire spell. Well, random spell, two random mage spells, and a random warlock fire. I actually don't know. I want to try and do this. Well, the two random spells they had were all draw. No, this one's a warlock spell. The... The whatchamacallit. The fire one from Fiddle. I think I need to try and kill the 6-6. Six -six. Not this 3-3. Three, three. No, no, they already played the mage one. Hango, that's why. It's gonna be a spell counter, isn't it? 
think I need to tempo this then. No, it's always been one mage and one warlock fire spell hango. I have KFK for sure, yeah. Remember, it's time I have Andrew that you lost to. Both of you were on Twelve at the time. Sort of. I was gonna say, Arsen Accusation is a good one, for example. Hey, Gomez. Happy weekend. It's likely a freaking counter, man. Another random snowman. Yeah, I know, I mean... Everything sucks, basically. It's not counter! Huh? Rigged? Countering. <laughs> yeah, super order, obviously, but <laughs> I thought had to be counter, but it's rigged. They played rigged and draw four on the turn. No, it can't be ice block. It's a drafted one, so it has to be rigged. Like what a weird turn then. What a weird turn. Either way, I tried to set up for a drum circle. I just wanted to... I didn't ban you, I just clicked the timeout button next to your name, then I removed it. I thought it was funny. <laughs> well, they drew four because they didn't have a choice, I guess, but... They were all random. They, they all had the one drafted spell. Draw on purpose for fatigue. What behind this hero power? I need some cheap stuff. No, it's rigged fair game. But I still think I keep chipping. Right? I mean, they burn two and they go down to five cards. Yes, as in you keep chipping, right? Uh, you can't draft Ice Block. You can't even discover Ice Block. You can only get Ice Block from Heart. Looking for Devolving. Do you have any reach? Well, I have six random legendaries. They still have gain one card, which could be bad. What do you mean?
Oh, they still gain one card because of the draw. Yeah, I gotcha, gotcha. Yes, you're right, Hanga. Oh, you know, I could have actually, I could actually have excavated twice, even of it. This? <laughs> People say that the tram conductor and the sludge mechanic or whatever look like red. Just them. They top deck that. Yeah. We're still chipping and getting close. Again, I have, I actually have Night Elf Huntress for reach. No, that's gonna freeze me. It's just that each, even four damage is so huge, right? Um, Ivanovich, do I even woodland? I think you do just to stop the freeze, right? Even though I could get one extra damage. So five random legendaries, Scenarion hold into drum circle is good, right? Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Uh, Huntress and Barrow Buster could both be lethal. He's at the point fees that they probably have a clear. He's also like a 118 for Barrow. He has six cards left. If I stall enough. Like, what do I do now? What do they have? A one cost legendary, a 9 9 and a 6 6. I random spend three other cards. Like, do I tempo this? Uh, this is never gonna give me three spells. I don't even think I have three spells. I do, but. Even buy one, get one, freeze the beetle. Do you ever give two minions to an. Do you ever summon five two twos? I mean, question reality. I'm I'm going almost to fatigue versus a mage. I'm at five zero. Oh. If you wait until you're right, you're always right. I think I wait one. I know he's gonna draw, right? The fatigue might be a, a thing. My hand is too full. That's good. True, but they applied almost zero pressure. Really? They had a six mana filter board with three twos, for example, right? They had early game pressure. They had three mana summon four nines. They had all the two mana cards from Badlands Bandits. They actually started with a 1-2-3 curve. Can it even cast AI? Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Rough draw, yeah. Even a cheap minion, you know? It depends what I want to risk living a turn. For scenario hold. We're looking for the Huntress. I think I have to go wide, you're right. But I think I also have to hero power the zero too. This is not this is not impactful. So the this this will never Barrow so Huntress is lethal. Barrow Buster School Teacher could be lethal, right? And then four legendaries we don't know. Ah, GG.
close one. Close one, close one. I was lucky they didn't draw their Chad guy earlier, to be honest. Uh, maybe I should have just held on to the Mage Scribe more. That turn where I thought that they had uh, counter kicked me, I could have buffed my Chadgar and my Mage Scribe and gotten the extra minions, but I think it's correct to play around counter rather than rigged fair game if you had to choose from one of those two as a drafted secret on a turn they drew cards. Yeah, we're full money. We need to make sure they hit that early game. I think we lose that game so often if they actually hit their Chadgar early. Um, they had a, a lot of removal, stall, and generation, right? Public fire sale, triple buy one, get one, freeze. Um, molten rune, badlands, bandits. And they started with the early game curve as well. Now, my early game curve was better. But so much free stall and removal. Um, it was just hard for me to just push that last little. We, we, we got stopped at about 14. And then we slowly tripped away, but we couldn't quite get there. Yeah. I was still just praying for that Night Elf Huntress at that point. We're, we're quite close, I think. One or two turns away. Hello? The hello? Well, they, they didn't rope on the first turn though, right? Maybe they had to do something. a quick poke. So I'll hero power this because I might coin Panther into their 3 drop and then kill the 3 2. And I want this to be down to 1 in case I ever get into a reef turn. That's the idea anyway. <laughs> So this makes it annoying. But I think we stick with our plan, especially with the Taunt Totem. I'll have to just kill a Totem instead. Wow, did you guys see that lag? Uh, I think that was my PC. PC, you alright? <laughs> Looks like it's alright. Um, still Park Panther here? Yeah, probably. Taking a lot of damage, but I think still. You force them to swing into it, and then you hope Barrow Buster pulls you back. That's why you Amin Hango. Okay. Evil Totem? Okay. And chill. Okay. Still think I have to bust her here. Might give me a one plus arbor next turn as well. But I need to get through to this, I feel. We could have Viana instead. We could spreading instead. We'll see. So I have two lackeys as is. Go on. Play, play all your lackeys and totems. Let's go. Okay, totem, lucky, everything. You want to protect, right? No. Wave of nostalgia vibes, you think so? But I think it was just correct. They're just trying to protect this, I think. Beautiful. Ah, okay, I think we're, stab we're stabilizing, we're stabilizing, we're stabilizing, we're stabilizing.
okay. Like, isn't this just so good that they're gonna cry? We dragons Are they really not scared to the point they play Soradormi? Maybe, 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 maybe the earthquake. Maybe that's why they play Solidarity so they can earthquake destroy it. Uh, no anymore. Do I have leaf? <laughs> I'm actually gonna count for leaf. Um. So what's this? Plus two, five, ten, fifteen, twenty. <laughs> yes. Ooh, happy June, just a cute blue. Next. Omega lethal. Oh, ma 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 ka 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 ma 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 Can I have another two wins? Actually, how many wins do I need to average eight on the day? That's my question. It's always nice to average eight. Yeah. A 12 on five. You need 24 over three. 12 on five. Yeah. Seven? Jaina. Knowledge is power. Murlocs are friends to all. Yeah, spreading play. Again, look at like I have to say. I have drafted 90% of my decks have had way better curve than this deck. But this deck seems to hit curve like this magical, <laughs> magical sweet spot. How? I have one good one drop, two good two drops, one good three drop. How? <laughs> what the hell, man? Yeah, it's, that, that's the luck, I think. That's, that's where the luck is coming for this deck, for sure. It, it makes up for the for, for, for the curve of the deck, which is the weakness, right? And that lets it get into the strong points. I think that's why it's at 6 and 1, to be honest. I've, I've hit curve uh, off, off, often enough, well enough, right? Good RNG bless you after the Hunter. Maybe, maybe. 3 into Colin Iber might just close it. Ooh, okay. I have 11 good one just Aviana, that's true. Surely they don't keep pinging, I mean if they ping here... Looks like, uh, you mean more Dresh. The, the hero power one, right? You mean... I assume... Okay. Are we Gucci? Have you seen class balance? No, actually. Is it really good, Zygo? I wish with power. That is so sweet, though. Thank you so much for the full year of prime willpower. The one on her face. 
Thank you. We have to go face, right, guys? I know I could immune kill this, but I think we just have to go face. I want the groovy cat out as well. You should tell them to hire me, Zygo. I mean, I'll stream half as much, but... <laughs> no, I'm joking. Um, I'm, I'm happy with the balance. It's, it's, it helps some of these classes be a little fresh air. Right? Yeah, a lot of people are telling me the balance is pretty, pretty sweet. And so this could be counter. Um, I mean, you, we, we just test it, right? It's barrier counter. And we play differently accordingly. We did in the end, Ivo, yeah. Hey, infinite. Let's take a look at ourselves again. Honestly, I think not only is this like the balance, most balanced it's ever been, but the most balanced in a way where you feel like you can actually perform with all the classes rather than niche archetypes of some class are very good. Um, interesting. There's a world where you keep hold, but maybe not in this deck. I think I keep Panner in this deck though, actually. Was there a way you could have won? If I managed to stall a few turns, yeah. Uh, actually, also that, like guys are saying, I thought he had counter spell. Um, but I, I played it on counter and he had rigged fair game. If I played into counter, I might actually have won. So there are worlds where, again, I could uh, pre trade. But we'll try this. It was pretty close, yeah. If I drew, there are a couple of things I could have drawn and might have just ended it here. Yeah, I think I think my read was correct. It's just a little annoying. It is what it is, though. It's fine. If I trade here, they're very likely to swing, uh, to trade value, trade swing versus one of these. Really weird. But I think the line is actually yes. On this turn, I actually think I coin hero power. Even with the fives. Obviously, I can get this lucky, but yeah, <laughs> it feels bad. But I think it's the play trangs. I agree because sure I can coin arbors, but the arbors are gonna be bad. So I will actually make do with either a 3 mana double 2-2 two two or a hero power on 4 and accept it. I actually think I hero power. Hey John, it's been alright dude. It's been alright. I hate letting this roll and snowball. Anybody? 
We have options. Mm. This is actually a really good draw with my hand, right? I mean, one mass summoner, two two draws already good. Hope you've been well yourself, John. Uh, Irene has been treating me well today. Cannot lie. Yeah, fruit is interesting if I was a little more ahead, I want to say. I think with this deck I trade. I think with this deck I trade. Also makes it more likely I do this. Well, that sucks for me though. I think I actually do this. I think I actually do this, even though I already drew one. I really wanted to draw. I really, really wanted to do Aviana into the Arbor into draw, draw like four. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, for sure, Trangs, I agree. The five fives are a big swing anyway. And this is a new tree in Tart, by the way. Which is an interesting thing. This might just not be an Aviana game, you know? So far, that Aviana game with the... Uh, what's it even called? The Power of Souls? That one was awesome. Just accept the clear. Um, this elusive is hard for them to deal with. It could be really good with the arbor. So we have an arbor plus small thing, or just honestly big snuggle teddy. Stick up. They stick up really good here. Find it hard for them to find something really good here. Lay down or snake poison could be acceptable. I always have a hero power arbor uh, play, so. I agree. They still have some nice tempo swing potential, bed, but I think once I in, in the next two turns I should be able to uh, get the swing. Okay, that's pretty good. But they're, they're running out of steam, and I'm kind of not right, bed. I want to kill the oracle though, because that's that's potentially scam. Oh, that's cool. It actually highlights stuff in mid deck now. Uh, you probably go for the arbor and hero power and just take the clear I just don't want them to scam me I don't think they can beat this so wins and coming I hope so Drew has been one of the longest ones since I've gotten 12 I'm acting like I'm a total paper to this poor poem with no cards left because I want to play with my discovers and excavate so I'm doing inefficient trades and trading all the time is that mean should I finish them off yes <laughs> that is mean 
<laughs> uh. Surely I just win if I drop Snuggle Teddy. Do I even do I even just drop Snuggle Teddy? Maybe I drop Winged Guardian actually so I can hero power. I mean they have a discovered spell, right, Bed? Um we hope it's not like what Symphony? <laughs> oh no, Lana. You wrote it down for the 50th time on the same page? I guess your other notebook must be full. Good draw there. But again, we're just getting so close to just ending this. It's the shadow step. <laughs> okay. Now <laughs> we know what now, Ben. <laughs> I'm actually doing this then. They can't deal with this. Now oh, we're one off. Eight, eight I'm happy with. Oh no. Oh, come on, mate! Just take it! Just take the L, dude! Just take the L! <laughs> you call that a blade? I've got fun. <laughs> I will never submit. <laughs> what happens, I go? Ah, it's, it's the weekends, I go. A lot of people play weekends. You're gonna see more. You're gonna see a lot yesterday because it was one day after, and you're gonna see a lot today and tomorrow because it's the weekend. So I go. I face several today. I didn't. I didn't face uh, growth index today though. Or I. I faced Shaman decks that didn't get to play them, but uh, I faced Geist decks today. Um, you'd be surprised how many people there are that play weekends. Like just weekends as in. Save a deck from last week. Um, Oh, that's so awesome, ZX! Go for it! Post it, of course! Uh, there's a lot of DJW CB accounts. Okay, this person waited for me with the same deck from earlier, by the way. How fun is that, guys? What do you think? Because they're playing with the same portrait in the same class. Okay, third time today. Like, eighth time this week. How fun is that, guys? So they have a double patchwork pals OP Hunter. How do I know that? Like I said, I've already faced them several times with this exact portrait and deck. Today. And multiple times this week. Start of 2 2, but you closed out the 12. That's very nice. Let's take a look real quick. Oh, guess what? They had a buzzard as well. Ah, oh, this is the third time today, yes. Alright, anyway. As you can see, my client is. I know I could immune trade there, but let's get the drill. Give me a sec here, guys. He saved the same deck, yeah. I, I know because it's the same portrait. I mean, not necessarily the same deck, but it's it's a hunter with the same portrait, so it's likely. Oh, it has done some, something cool, Matty. You have sweet, uh, some sweet curve in, in the deck, I want to say. Um, ZX. 
Conjure, Renew Light, Condemn, Mind Eater. I love Shadow Well. Fly off the shelf for some AoE. Solid curves, delayed pro. How was delayed product? This is the one you were talking about earlier, right? Actually, the colo. Double puppet theater. I love that puppet theater. In Zoth at the top end. A matriarch, obviously, yeah. Double repackage. That's also surprising. This is their top deck. Who here can spell Zinjari? Anybody? Zombies actually kicking me, man. It was not good, it was because the other guys were worse. So I figured best to have it if I needed by having two. I'm not a fan of the Kai, that's why I'm I'm asking by the way. Sentries. Even of it. Don't make me report you. I don't. But this one's called uh, Fantasia by Lucid Keys. What I have written is Nocturne, Fantasia, Lucid Keys. I don't know which is the sun or which is the person. Yeah. Congratulations. Rope away with one of the best hunter decks in the mother in the world, man. I hope you're happy if you're watching the stream. Um, I have a sad life and existence and uh, I will work to get you IP banned from Blizzard games, so enjoy your last few days. Same deck as before. Double Gargan, double buzzer, double patchwork pals, triple three three rush. I know, right, Equidash. So dumb because so many of my losses are either pre-patch decks or snipes. Otherwise, <laughs> we're just winning games. Makes everything so much harder. And their their decks, their decks what what decks did they face me with today? Twice with the same hunter? 
right? Twice with the same hunter. Um, and this hunter is double buzzer, double patchwork, double gargan, triple the format, 3-3 three, three rush, with, with terror scale stalkers, a bunch of early game curve. Yeah. Seven excavate death knight. <laughs> I don't even know how they draft them so consistently. Like, it, it's mind blowing. At least I beat them half the time. I don't know. Yeah, that's true, guy. I mean, I, 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 I actually think I get sniped about five, six, seven times a day. Uh, I do ignore it a lot. This person is just really annoying because I'm having a good day and they faced me, what, 10, 15 times this week. Um, and it's, it's very, very targeted. It's not like random here, random there, you know? Oh. Stream delay uh, doesn't stop people from do it, doing it whilst ruining the stream for 600 other people. People really want to. They just keep trying all day. Is it really that difficult? If their only goal is to manage? I just wanna not talk about it anymore anyway. No use about it. Uh, Bugbeam is pretty solid. I could fit that in for a little clear clear. <laughs> I expected some naked like, meanings, so all right. It just sucks because th these are metas where it's very hard uh, when you start with a loss, right? Like, I imagine all your runs, guys, they have two losses. Just so difficult. Makes all runs so difficult to go far. I could be looking for spreading plague, is that worth it? Um, okay, well... I'm not sure I want to flower child there, I think I have yeah, not to try and high roll. Yeah, but not trying, right? Not, not, not trying. Imagine the first time you lose your run-ins. <laughs> Or the second time, for example. What's going on in this head of mine? Okay, that's interesting. Am I re am I silencing this? Like, how bad can this be? In all honesty, how bad can this be? Because I could Woodland Wonders and Nagaling to win con for me. <laughs> I like that. You just wait. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> I can't. I, I don't think I can look, guys. Bait and switch, right? Surely becomes a 4 9, right? That's pretty good. Pick me, pick me. Pretty sure I played choke out on the right. Stunning. 
stunning. <laughs> Edwin was interesting too. Agreed. But this gives me a 6-7 taunt, which I thought was very good here. Apparently not as much. That was an error. It's not the bait. So it's rat trap then. Huh? Um, I kind of want to play three. I guess I could trade. I think I might silence this. I think I hold. Sure, I get a 6-7, but I also give them a 6-6 six, six right now. So now that I know what it is, I might try to clear it and play a bunch of stuff. That's my swing turn there. I know they could have uh, bears and stuff. Hey, Nexty. Okay, hopefully you're in for a 12-win druid. Uh, it was a drilly deck. It was pretty good drilly deck. A lot of cycle and stuff. We stole one more. Uh, drilly, it was drilly, Suslu. Yeah, I could have tried to clear a rat bed, but I think this works nicely. Um, and I could do it next turn anyway. Six, ten, lethal. Yeah, that swing turn has been interesting. Spammy was good once in the game I lost, unfortunately. But it was extremely good in that game. I wouldn't have stood a chance without it, I think. So, to be honest. Uh, would Crane have been better? No, not really either. I think, as I said, all three of those just don't fit the deck. Alright, let's try and see if we can go for 10. Let's grab something. Uh, let's go. Jobs 
done. Druid feel after a patch. This is my first druid. Uh, it feels like a, a weird. It used to feel. It, it feels like a weird deck, but I've been very lucky with drawing curve for the most part, which has really helped. Of course, hoots. <laughs> I think I'm also playing it well. Uh, remember, one of my losses is to uh, an OP sniper as well. Did they get a pop-up book? Ah, oh, schooling. It's even worse, I want to say, actually. Alright. Gotta let them figure it out. Is it sometimes an advantage when the snipers are utterly garbage at the game? Um... I mean, there's always just a theory either way, like Gary's saying. It's hard to say. You never really know. Most of the times they have such an advantage that it doesn't even really matter because the deck they queue you up with. Guess what? It's usually insane. Um, but they always have the advantage no matter what because they choose when to queue into you. If people are playing you, they don't want to play you when they have a bad deck, right? Even though they might not purposely wait for the most OP deck. They also don't want to queue into you when you are at an advantage. Okay, and now we've got a lovely pre patch growth in Druid. I wanted the flower child, but maybe this is too good. Nah, let's get the mana reduction. Hey, the Pokemon catching game with my Twitch bot. You can redeem a child point reward to catch a random Pokemon. You, do you make them from scratch or what? Crip was goated. Can we draft growth in? Uh, not anymore from what I understand. Druids can draft growth ins. No, this is a shaman. Guys. Yeah, people can have decks from two days ago. Oh, they die, guys, I'll say. I thought you thought they were a druid. His mom is getting salty at the game where peak hearts though. <laughs> he left because of it, though. Difficult decision while drafting. On the channel with four excavates, being offered a fifth one, but also command of Neptulon. I think those decisions are hard, Don. You have to judge whether it's more important for your deck to be hitting the Azerite Murloc more consistently or to have that swing turn on 5 slash comeback potential. Rogue Mage. Yeah, original cost, Lana. Do I test for objection? We rise to the warm sun. 
should have left the heel there. It's okay. Have a lovely uh, weekend, Major. A dose of lurk here, dose of lurk there. Rebel, thank you so much for the 13 month prime, sir. I uh, really appreciate the support, man. Thank you, Rebel. You you have a lovely weekend there, chilling in the background with some music. Uh, we have to prepare something that they're going to come in with two eight eights. So I think whatever happens, the plot of sin has to be it. And then we emerald one, two, three, four. Probably this as well. Keep the wider board. We must stop this corruption. Amateurs. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. A good, great hit, great hit. This could be a big comeback if they have other options. A little hopeful still. Schooling growth in a uh, start there as well. With a cows. And we in this so far. They could just tumble with my board's gun, but. Shall we make a storm? That's a good sign. I made them not play the growth in, which is a good thing for me, right? Because now they can play the growth in, but it's coming into my RBO turn, which is a nice plus. I think we do the same thing. We force them into the situation, right? Was there legendary? I do not know. I don't think I want to turn a resistance aura so they can't do lightning reflex turns trade 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 but hero power trade 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 push five I, I also really want to be pushing right I want to make sure six one stays alive that so they decide to grow in right Just not doing anything. Okay. 5, 10, 16, 17, 18, 19. So let's say they grow in here. Not that good because I can just RBO 8 into 8, 8, 2, 1 into that. Push 16. Uh, which means they're left with random overload, uh, rush, or three other cards. It looks like they're thinking about a random overload. I have Triple Arbor and Aviana still in this deck. Uh, those are probably the things I'm looking for. Shudder block, you think? It might be forced into it is the thing, right? literally planned that like five turns ago right or whatever turn six four turns ago just put them in positions where it's rough for them to come back despite their op cards <laughs> i really hope the rbo eats up a lot okay the rbo ate up three that's awesome wow that's really good I really want to push face. Ah, uh, yes, I go. Oh, okay. 
Alright, so I'm gonna change my day now. Um, because Gigantifies and Minis are from playing, uh, not summoning, or, or vice versa anyway, so you get them. Yeah, I start with the Buster to see what I get, Equidash, and then I would have gone this, most likely. Okay, 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 okay. Dubledies. Alright, there's another growth in Shaman out the freaking queue, guys. Go! Yeah, probably Equina. Just refinement stuff. You're stressing like you have money on the line. I think you only keep Park Panther. Again, let's try and hit some semblance of the early game. Not it, but you probably still play hold here. Just just man efficiency. Okay, double park does help you come back a lot. But we'll see. You probably uh probably have See, the thing is, Duke, though, this deck has very good mid to late game, right? And I have been quite consistently lucky with Curve. Right? Like, it has been, it has been very, very good to me in that sense, right? But thank you. We have a play figured out now, basically. <sighs> I actually think this is better. Because, let's say I Librem. There's a world where... First of all, it tells them what the holy spell is, but secondly... They probably like here apart develop nothing. My Park Panther is a bad play. Whereas now, I very likely am able to Park Panther their three, and then take three. So sure, I take three extra damage. Um, but it also gives me a three, five, and two turns to take three by doing so. And uh, there you go. Now I'll take one instead. And almost forced them into a hero power with this follow-up. Yeah, Panther helps make up for the early game loss as well, which is why it's such an important keep in the mulligan. Ah, it's time. I almost want above this. I think you push the extra damage. I know it's weird, but I actually think I need to kill this. My hand isn't screaming longer game. Uh, my hand isn't screaming ending this game right now, sorry. Especially with this, this, and this. Uh, these three are slow cards, so I'll push the five while I'll take this trade. They want to hit and hero power here, I get the hit back. The issue is... I played into Remorseless, but around Howling. Okay. Ooh, that sounds awesome, Milo. Uh, good luck with it. I hope you go really far. Well, I almost snap picked it, guys. I almost snap picked it. <laughs> I almost snap picked it. <laughs> 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 
Dude, I saw it. I was just ready to jump into it. <laughs> if you're not aware, Race Throttle now checks your starting deck. <laughs> uh, which means it would be just an 8 mana 8-8. Eight, eight. So even worse than this. Uh, CNE? I don't know post patch if it was removed, but CNE was draftable uh, in, in, in the last meta. So I kind of just don't want to kill this. I do really want a Libram here though. I also really want a Panda. Maybe we Libram this to stop them going 5-3. Although they don't have corpses so maybe I don't care if they go 5-3, huh? It's the thing I prefer. Um, going a little wider. Oh, yes. Speak as much as you want. Yes, Rykwood, someone told me. It feels bad. Feels bad for sure. Um, a lot of people have told me it has happened to them. Not with Elise, with Ray Straza. I think it makes for an interesting risk, personally. Uh, I think it makes for an interesting risk. Like, when I've drafted Ray Straza, I've purposely taken worse picks over common picks. Um, and I would have actually been forced, potentially, into into dupes if I didn't do that. They ever have brew, guys? I mean, they still wouldn't be able to brew and play this. He did well anyway. I'm really happy to hear that. Nobody told me that. I'm really happy to hear that. Yeah, I just rip it, right? KFK, just rip it. I also have this now. He couldn't. Oh, he did it on purpose, is right there. Good to use. Better to use. Oh my god! I thought for a second they summoned a huge. We, we win, right? Oh my god, we're going for final bust with the druid. Sky Mother Aviana. Yeah, people told me you got forced into it, so they okay. Come on, one more game where I draw my early, right? One more game, we just hit the early. I'll run this early right now. Yeah, yeah that makes more sense, Gary. I, I don't think he would. He would pick Elise and then... That makes more sense. Like right saying. All right, we'll run this early. Um, Let's go for it. thing where I picked Hagita because of absolutely zero five plus spells yeah also I had a lot of people tell me about that they suck but I think it's part of the risk I think it's part of the risk one well, game the other day upon had forced me into fatigue and then you discovered Aviana 
Going first is a good sign. Hitting this two is a very good sign as well, Duck. If I can hit a three right here, I know I chucked plot of sin, guys. But I don't think through two two twos are really helping me a lot there. Up we go. Unfortunately, not only did I not hit the three here, which oh, you know what, it's fine. I also hit my seven six six, not even my fives. And that is part of the pain. I didn't hit my fives. Wow, are they not giving me a panther? Now I draw a reef. Damn. Yeah, part of the issue also, right? Although the only seven I would have wanted to draw with my Sanayan hold is still the one in my deck. So this is actually extremely bad draw. Not even hitting my good fives. Okay, solid positioning. Was that their top deck? It was not, right? Uh, this cannot blossom, right? And this cannot be chosen. Okay. Pick me, pick me. okay, can I hit my strong fives and stuff? Where are they? No change. I picked this type of legend. You oftentimes just fight into picking a dupe. No, no, there's no protection system implemented, Zorder, and I think there shouldn't be, personally, to be honest with you. I want the risk to be there. So the question now is, do I push four or do I push one and save my five four? I think I push four. AOE will destroy my board, which includes the five four. Like, if they're AOEing me, it doesn't matter that I save the 5-4. To be honest. Like, Blizzard, sure, but then it's so easy for them to kill a 5-2. So we don't know what this audio splitter is yet, but it's probably Heatwave. No, no, I was never leaving it, whether I take five and trade the three to Hango, um, or, or save the other one or whatever. It's my turn. That's their splitter as well. Is this good? Surely. Thank you, Dolan. <laughs> I 
Uh, Happy weekend, dude. <laughs> I just know they have another Arcane Defenders, and these are so bad versus it. That's the issue, right? I could spam me for one double trade. That's my thinking. As long as it's not Blizzard or Flame Strike, that's all for me. I also want to draw my fives, dude. Where the hell are my fives? I hit all of my post fives. Now I'm going to draw Flower Child, huh? Yeah, but Blizzard could be the stall they need, right, KFK? Like, they play Arcane Defenders, Blizzard. The way they're playing, thinking about Arcane Defenders, tells me that this is probably counter, not barrier. And now they're trying to figure out whether to also trade here or here, depending on whether they're going to risk the AoE. They're going to risk the AoE. So maybe it is barrier because they risk the AoE, huh? They don't go for defenders. Oh no. I hope I have a turn left. Sunspot and trade. Franklin Wells is harder than it looks. You think so? Trying to white test for counter. I think I want to test with Hammer. And I want to pan down to Drum Circle, right? Mostly. For that location. Oh, that's not even their double. They have another Arcane Defenders. Yeah, but it was created by it. It was created audio splitter, so one of these two has to be. Now do I arbor? Since I know it's not counter. I think I do. I know, minus two. I just, it could have been counter and I didn't want to waste this. It's current. Yeah, <laughs> don't cap at me with delay. Why though? To make it better for me to prepare for a potential? Arcane Defenders, which I think they have. For sure, but I'm always risking the Flame Strike Blizzard. Do you do nothing because of it and then they hit you with Arcane Defenders and you just can't come back? Like, what if it casts counter and they play Arcane Defenders? One of these two. I don't think I didn't. I haven't drawn my thing yet, huh? Look for drum circles. Probably a line from both of these. The 
let's play these two. I like pushing face there, but they're gonna freeze the 8-8. Eight, eight. Taking the kill loses me 4, but potentially gains me 8. Plays around me here a little bit as well. Uh, thank you for the follow, Elrich. I'm, I'm Lick, must have been when I popped off early as well. I mean, we have Aviana still. We've played through Chadgar. There's no more Chadgar. Nice minion they got there. Agreed. Yes, Hango, but it would cost six, so I'd need a coin. I mean, I'm gonna go ahead and say it, okay? Because I believe if you're watching this on YouTube. There you go, a 12 win druid. Yes, I'm saying it right now. Because if I lose, you can kick up and you can laugh at me in the comments. But if I win, then freaking support me so I can keep making runs like this, you know? Like the videos. G scroll down. My opponents just wasting their time. Scroll down. Like the video. Stop to the channel. Check out some more runs. Leave a comment. Your favorite game. Something. And if I lose, leave a comment. Laugh at me. Either way, it helps me keep creating more runs. And see if we can get it. Woo! Alligator Horn, thank you for the follow. Yeah, almost there. Uh, almost there. I still believe. So if I trade... Draw 5, 6, 12. I don't have the mana. 8, 9, 11, 12. I'm trying to see if there's a lethal here. Well, a trader might be. Buster, Arbor, Panther. Everyone on Twitch, if you say hi, YouTube, you can go check it out later. Murloc hug. Hi, Mom. White Fowl, thank you as well for the follow. I can't believe it. Finally. 12. Druid, go to sleep, Daimo. Miracle Growth is not drafted, but I think so, Slu, but I, I don't know is the truth, because the, the pool changed recently, but I don't think so. I want to be honest and say I don't think this run goes 12 if I don't get lucky with my early game. Because this deck is super... Look at the curve on this deck. Super clunky, but so often I hit my early game, which made up for the clunkiness. I played Aviana quite a bit early. There was actually the most amazing Aviana game, to anyone who didn't see it. I suggest checking it on YouTube, but I'll say this. Rodgill, Devourer of Souls. That was the best Aviana game. Yeah, I've already said it on YouTube, but sincerely, if you do enjoy my content and you want to support in some which way, please do engage with the content, watch some more stuff, and uh, check out the rewards. 
Cheers, AFK. And look, Flower Child as well, very appropriate, even though it didn't do much in this deck. Uh, MVPs, probably like the Arbors, though. D drawing, drawing the er early game was MVP. Three Arbors? Yeah. I, I think Arbors were only good in this deck because I hit my early game um, uh, consistently, though. Actually, I think Park Panther was MVP. You know, be honest, I think Park Panther was better than the Arbor. They made up for the the the, 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 the games I missed my early game. And then the late game, my fives were so good because I was able to do things like Woodland Wonders Arbor, Buster Arbor, School Teacher Nagaling Arbor. Even Groovy Cat helped pull its own weight because I was doing a lot of hero powering. Five plus hero power into five plus hero power plus one into five plus hero power, right? Actually pulled its own way as well. And usually I don't like this card, but I really needed the two. That's why I picked it up. And I knew I would be hero powering, so it was a good pickup as well. Good run. I, uh, I'm really happy to get a Druid 12.